Este es un trabajo colaborativo, siempre. Entre los distintos actores financieros, usátiles y que invitan a la inversión, puede sumar para hacer más. I think it's really good and it's a very powerful message that you decide to put ESG as ESG in the agenda. You give a lot of credit to Viva, who not only has built their technology in the cloud, but is thinking about it in a way going forward and how to add liquidity, uh, not just for locals in Mexico trading the local markets, but for Mexicans who want to trade the U.S. markets. Your nearshoring is not just the border of states, a light manufacturing. I think nearshoring will be benefiting all Mexico. So we're finally now seeing the structural advantage of being where we are, having done the homework, having the stability and the, the framework for the North American market. But you go throughout the big pensions across Mexico and Latin America generally, and we see the ETFs as like the preferred vehicle. As I said, I'm a firm believer that um, uh, the markets, the public markets are an essential part of uh, the ecosystem. For political reasons, when USA goes into tension with some countries, they make commercial blocking. If we move our, our, our way of uh, facing immigration, we'll be doing a lot better. We'll be higher than all, all those people. So it's true, the type of issuers we tend to target is really the first time where they need more support from uh, an institution like IDB Invest to develop a framework to select the projects to finance. Yeah, we managed in our Series B uh, to get a traditional investors to come in was because we proved how all these investments that we had done in regulation uh, had actually been fruitful. I mean, there has been a lot of optimism. There's been a lot of excitement um, around the growth of, uh, of the Mexican market. And you, you can see it. Uh, and we think that in Mexico, we have to address the, the gender uh, aspect because it's, it's clearly not, not sufficiently uh, uh, developed. So if we need and we find that common ground that needs to be addressed, we're going to have a better market. There's really only two electronified markets in Latin, really, really uh, the other one in Mexico. Latin America is uh, the fastest growing region in e-commerce at a worldwide level, okay? with a projected CAGR of 25%. Mexico is the true land of opportunity. It's where you can find the most important um, uh, uh, opportunities. Trading is an ecosystem, it's not just the venues. I'm really excited about Mexico. Um, I think on the geopolitical level, it's an incredible country. I think there's a lot of really important things that are happening in that market. An effective use of data to actually make both sides of market understanding sort of what the capabilities are from an automated trading perspective. So we don't think that our investments that are going in um, transitioning to a lower carbon economy is a sunk cost. It's actually a double materiality. It's achieving. So there is that market opportunity um, for us in Mexico from a financial inclusion standpoint, which I think has attracted a lot of impact investor interest. Hola, soy Julio Escandón, CEO de Banco Base, y la estoy pasando increíble. Es mi primera experiencia en el Viva Day, inolvidable. Es un momento increíble para platicar, para conocer nuevas personas, para aprender mucho de lo que está pasando alrededor de, del mundo. Así es que súper recomendable y muchas gracias por la invitación a Viva. Notice that you've raised a fair amount of money both, both in debt and in equity. A lot of the emerging economies depend on commodities, and there are other emerging economies that depend on manufacturers. If we look at uh, economic growth rates, and this way which is shown here in the last 10, 10 years, it's remarkable that we have seen almost a full convergence of economic growth rates. But we have to invest in our people. And I think education is one of the main things that we have to focus. We are the first um, fully registered exchange in Latin America that will have an engine, a machine engine on the cloud. Investment is about trust. So we talked about emerging markets. Uh, we're gonna zone in on Mexico and its opportunities. There is the opportunity there to foster growth. And in our sector, I think it's here to stay and we're very positive in Mexico.
y el evento de hoy me ha gustado bastante, creo que las pláticas, los eventos y los panelistas han sido de primer nivel y todos los, todos los, los tópicos y los temas discutidos la verdad también han sido bastante claros con la situación actual y creo que le, va a ser, le van a ser muy útiles a todas las personas que asistieron. I think that ultimately, capital markets, REIT type structures, other capital markets, investment methodology provides a discipline for investors, for participants, for the government to create that trust. As we've seen an exceptional growth, obviously, within the past few years, within the offering, within Mexico's ETF landscape. We actually secure a way how people could make money at scale that, that permits them in order not only invest the assets we, we originate, but also have a recurrent way to do it in a very diversified way. And for example, the group has developed um, a scoring methodology for measuring good practices, good governance over the past 20 years. Now, Mexico has been definitely pioneering in, in a lot of the thematic ones. I mean, I think gender, um, uh, focus issues, um, educational, uh, social, you know, New sharing is not happening in Mexico if we don't have energy, water, and homes. And basically Mexico's role and opportunity at this time. In terms of real estate, according to CBRE, 75% of all new sharing transactions were concentrated in Monterrey, Saltillo, and Juarez. Ser una bolsa is not solo el sistema, la plataforma donde se ven precios de compra y de venta. Ser una bolsa is es esto también, es donde se juntan compañías con inversionistas. Why is Viva important? Okay, they started in 2018. And to me, and I've done a lot of research on Viva, one of the most important things that we're doing right now is trying to democratize the Mexican economy and the Mexican banking system. Viva has demonstrated that we are a key player and that we are ready to go and focused on the future.